Uh, good morning, YouTube. Uh, looks like the mailman dropped off a, another couple of packages today. Uh, this is a small one from Unique Supply, and then a larger box that came uh, from an eBay <coughs> auction. And let's uh, just see what this little one is first. I think I know what it is. Uh, be using this on my when I rewire the solar battery system. I'm going to have this fuse uh, or breaker. I was going to use a fuse, but I decided to use a circuit breaker. So on this side of the breaker will be all my batteries. I'll have a row of uh, of uh, Anderson connectors for each. Uh, actually, each battery or pair of smaller batteries and then in the ground side is the current shunt for the trimetric battery monitor and on the positive side will be the circuit breaker and then on this side will be there will be the super capacitor that I have and then there will be the inverter and it has an internal 200 amp fuse so that way all the loads will be on this side, all the batteries on, on the other side. So we'll have batteries, circuit breaker, and then the, the inverter, the supercapacitor, the charge controller will come in. And then I've got a 70 or 80 amp uh, breaker for the charge controller. And then one other thing I'm going to add is I have a small maybe I can actually go show you that right now so I'll just be back in a second and show you what else I'll be putting in there and so the idea of this is I have this 80 amp circuit breaker right here and what I'm gonna do is this will be used between the charge controller and the battery bank. I'll have this 80 amp uh, breaker and allows me to shut off the charge controller or disconnect it so it's more of a switch than a circuit breaker. And then I'll have this 200 amp breaker essentially between the batteries and load. So I'll have the inverter out here I'll have my super capacitor and then I'll have the batteries on this side of the 200 amp breaker and like I said the loads over here so this way I can uh, for instance if I need to uh, discharge or charge the super capacitor I can open this breaker and then charge or discharge the super capacitor and then remove it or do whatever I need to and then I can close this breaker and then likewise I can disconnect the charge controller if I need to. Uh, the charge controller will come into the battery positive and then what I've done is I've added I wanted to add this small this is a 10 amp hour battery and it'll have a fuse. I've got a 30 amp fuse in there. The sequence is you want to disconnect the solar panels then you can disconnect the battery. But what I've done here is I'll have this small battery that'll be fused that will even if I open this connection the charge controller will still have a battery connected to it won't be very big battery like I said it's 10 amp hours but that way if I some you know something shorts out and and it uh, you know takes this breaker out or I just accidentally switch this breaker open before and I forget about switching the panels off uh, you know that's a two hundred dollar charge controller goes up in smoke so the idea is this small battery is kind of if you will, sort of uh, like your your clock has a little backup battery in it 
so when you take out, have to change the main batteries, there's a little backup uh, battery. So this will be kind of like a little backup battery. I can turn the main battery bank. I can disconnect it from the loads. I can disconnect it from the charge controller. I'll still have this small battery uh, connected to the charge controller but it'll be disconnected from the main battery bank so if I need to work on the main battery bank for you know a half hour or so I can just disconnect it keep running here and uh, so that's the plan I will uh, as I get some more uh, parts rounded up I need to the next step I need to make is the the bus bars for my battery connections so I'll uh, I'll uh, post a video when I start moving things into my little shed to get this stuff out of my patio area and kind of clean it up and and make it work a lot better so uh, stay tuned to this channel you can subscribe for updates and uh, I just wanted to show you my plan for having those two circuit breakers. Like I said, stay tuned and thanks for watching.